Tonight, new details on a scary start to school. A sixth grader is reportedly out of the hospital after being hit by a car on his way to class. So the crash happened this morning, just a few blocks from Folks Middle School on the far northwest side. The boy was riding his bike when deputies say a driver hit him. Now that driver did stay on scene and is not expected to face charges. But tonight, parents say this is part of a dangerous pattern. Ken's 5 reporter Hannah Tita has their concerns. It's really scary. A young boy is hit while riding his bike to school. It happened this morning near Swayback Ranch and Mill Park. Brittany McCourse says she was one of the first on scene. Don't move him. Um, just make sure that we don't cause any more injury to him. Keep him calm. His sister was there. Keep his sister calm. According to Northside ISD, the sixth grader was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. John Folks Middle School parents tell us it was just a matter of time before an accident like this happened again. There's no reason to expect five, six, seven, 11, 12 year old kids to cross four lane roads with no assistance, no crossing guards, no stop signs, no nothing. Just hours later, another crash at the same intersection. Congestion, speeding, and distraction. Parents are begging for police patrols, more stop signs, speed bumps, and additional crossing guards. We're going to assess any potential safety issues throughout the school year. There are things that are within our control as a district. There are things that fall outside of our control. One thing parents believe the district can and should do is provide transportation to all students. We're told a few years ago, NISD stopped offering bus routes for students living within two miles of Folks Middle School. Kids are getting dropped off an hour, hour and a half before school, the doors even open sometimes. A child didn't make it to school today. Without change, parents fear he won't be the last. Something needs to be done because this isn't safe. And a district spokesperson says this crash happened several blocks away from the middle school, but we're told NISD is working with the Bear County Sheriff's Office to, to address safety concerns in that area. Reporting live, Hannah Tita, Ken's 5.